Hello, this is Moonlight Images, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to have your images look like you see right in front of you on the screen here. This looks a little bit more professional, gives your clients or future clients kind of a little bit of a gateway as to how their images will look once you do give them the finalized images. Kind of gives them a little bit of visualization as to how they can have their images mounted and framed once you do in fact give them those finalized images. This quick tutorial is brought to you by Moonlight Images. However, I did pick this little quick tip up courtesy of Scott Kelby and their Photoshop user TV bi-weekly podcast. Okay, I cannot take full credit for this. These guys are amazing. If you ever want to learn more about Photoshop, more about photography, I highly recommend you subscribe to their bi-weekly podcast, Photoshop user TV. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. If you would open up Photoshop or fire up Photoshop, doesn't matter which version, I am using version CS4, however I do have CS5 as well, but I will be using CS4 for this demonstration. So, Command O to open up a photo. I'll be using another one of these pictures of my lovely daughter here. You can see it's a huge image. I'll go ahead and resize that. Okay. First thing you want to do is go to Image, Canvas Size. What you want to do, or what we're going to do, is we're going to add some canvas in and around the entire image. You want to be sure you have the relative box checked. And you want to add four inches all the way around. Hit Enter. And you'll see right there, the image actually looks a little nicely already. Some people would like to have the image stay this way. Just put your information down here. That's fine by me. It's a real quick way to have your images look mounted, or matted, I'm sorry. However, for myself, I'd like to have it a little bit longer here to give it that 12 by 12 or 10 by 10 that I prefer to give my images out when I provide them to wedding clients, uh, portrait clients, newborn clients, things like that. They prefer to go with the, the square images, 12 by 12 or 10 by 10s. It's entirely up to you on how you want to do so. But for me, I go back to image. I hit canvas size yet again. And then I choose the middle anchor point and I add two more images, um, excuse me, two more inches to the height. Bear with me here. And there you go. Gives it that sort of box uh, matted printout. Okay. Then what I like to do is hit the T button and go ahead and start spelling out how I would like <coughs> it to look. Hit the layer so the text can become on there. Now it's now it looks a little centered, but a quick way to do so is select all. And go to the align centers and there you go select the layer and I like to set the opacity to about 78 80 percent and that looks good that kind of gives the clients again that visualization of how their images will look believe it or not letting them see how their images will look mounted and printed really really helps them visualize where they're gonna have those final images put in their home Ultimately, that's what you're trying to sell. You're trying to sell them an image that they want to have showcased in their home. Okay, so I start off by hitting Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. Here's another quick tip for you. Rather than having to hold the T or click the T button and select all of your text, if you just double click the T icon within the text layer, you double click it and it will automatically select all of your text. So then I will bring down the font to roughly 14. I will move it below the image and then I will rename it or kind of give a little bit of information below it. Of course you're not going to write something like this. I have daughter with leaf. And this was shot in fall 2009. 
Then again, you can have it below here. You can actually have it below here. I kind of like the way it looks like that. Again, select them all, align it, and you're pretty much done. What I did was I actually scanned my signature. I signed a piece of paper and scanned it in. Select it all, paste it into my image. Command T to free transform. If you hold down the shift, it keeps the same dimensions of the signature so you won't be having it skewed or anything like that. I move it right below the image. Hit enter or return. Then I like to change the opacity to about 50%. And there you have it. You have your image mounted. It looks a little bit more nicer, a little bit more professional. Of course, you can change the wording. You can put information down here. You can put the exact date. You can put their wedding date. If this was a wedding, you know, you can put their their name followed by their wedding date. Kind of gives them a visualization as to how they're going to have their images printed and mounted. Okay. Once again, this is Moonlight Images, giving you a brief tutorial within Photoshop CS4. How to make your images look a little bit more professional. If you want to follow us, you can follow us at www.moonlightimages.com. You can also look in the description of this video to find our website along with our Twitter and our Facebook. Stay tuned for more tutorials from Moonlight Images.